Police in California have arrested a suspect in connection with a 2000 cold case murder of a 22-year-old barber, who was found shot to death inside the Pittsburgh Police Department in the Bay Area on Thursday announced the arrest on Pia Tassini, 45, for the murder of Dan Tassini, of Elk Cove, was also charged with attempted murder in connection with a separate shooting that also took place in 2000 plus 5 and get equals ID 36384198A07B2SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1S slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493140927863 image A8 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 745 million 200 73,534 JPG height equals 450 with equals 306 all equals police in the Bay Area have arrested Pia Tassini, 45, for the September 2000 murder of 22-year-old Danny Guise, pictured, class equals black border and share, greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals I27268 FC134 C42508 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash dailymail.co.uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493154927863 image M7 underscore 161374526375.jpg height equals 450 width equals 306 alt equals Equals guys is pictured with his mother class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals i5 e2c307 df679 pa21 src equals https colon slash slash dailymail.co.uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493152927863 image m24 underscore 161374585264 7.jpg height equals 343 width equals 634 alt equals class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message share this article share according to the police Tassini's arrest 21 years later came after cold case detectives served a search warrant and obtained new evidence critical skip the case began unfolding on the night of September 27 2000 when police in Pittsburgh received a 911 call about a man who had been shot while sitting in his car at 1605 Railroad at the victim guys was found slumped over the steering wheel with two gunshots. He was taken to Sutter Delta Medical Center, where he died of his injuries less than an hour later. The victim was remembered as a talented young barber who was about to start a new job as a custodian at Pittsburgh Unified School District, reported East Bay. The only lead detectives had at the time was that the gunman possibly fled the scene of the shooting in a light-colored Ford Mustang. Plus 5 and get equals I3 F0333 C973 CC1443 SRC equals HTTPS colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493136927863 image a 16 underscore 1 trillion 613 billion 745 million 801 thousand 700 not jpg height equals 495 with equals 306 alt equals class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message plus 5 and get equals ie 51 cc 2a4931 need 1 src equals https colon slash dailymail.co.uk slash 1s slash 2021 slash 02 slash 19 slash 14 slash 39493150927863 image m15 underscore 161374579428 jpg height equals 495 with equals 306 alt equals danny guy class equals black border and share greater than copy link to paste in your message the case was ultimately assigned to the police department's cold case unit which spent the next 20 years looking into numerous persons or interests and sus a break in the case came in 2019 when detectives identified to see me as a possible police have not said what led them to him after securing a search warrant and obtaining new information related to the case, detectives took it to the Contra Costa Attorney's Office for review. DailyMail.com on Friday reached out to the police seeking comment on the cold case investig- On Wednesday, prosecutors filed a criminal complaint, charging Tassini for Guise's murder and for the January 2000 shooting of Kenneth Brown. The suspect was arrested at his home in Elk Cove that same evening. Tassini remained jailed on $10 million bond at the Martinez Detention Facility on Friday.